happening as Bigfoot experts claim that he has seen the legendary Sasquatch. And as Paul Boyd reports, he claims he saw him in a freezer. Could this be Bigfoot? The photograph shows the body of what is supposed to be the legendary creature stuffed into a freezer. This could be the biggest discovery in the last 200 years. I spoke to Tom Biscardi, a self-described Bigfoot expert who claims he's seen the body. You can understand, though, why there are some of us who really just find this all too much to believe. I understand the skepticism. I've seen it. I touched it. Two men say they found the mythical creature's body in the remote Georgia woods. The seven feet, seven inches tall. Uh, the footprint was in excess of uh, 16 inches. This is home video of the Bigfoot hunters. Matthew Whitten, a policeman on leave from his department, and Rick Dyer, a former corrections officer. We're the best Bigfoot trackers in the world. They've now joined up with Biscardi, who made the documentary Bigfoot Lives. But there's plenty of skepticism, with ABCNews.com calling it a hoax, and the New York Times saying the body looks like a sheepskin rug. How are you so certain that these two guys aren't pulling some elaborate hoax here? After you poke something and you look at it, you touch it, uh, you say, hey, it's real. Almost as legendary as Bigfoot itself are hoaxes that have been perpetrated over the years, including this infamous grainy film made in the 1950s that supposedly shows Bigfoot in the wild. In 2002, the people behind the video finally admitted it was a fake. As for the latest claim, one skeptical website says the so-called body is nothing more than a Halloween costume. But Tom Biscardi says DNA tests and an autopsy will prove that this Bigfoot discovery is the real thing. Is it possible that this is just a hoax still, Tom? I'll invite you out personally so you can prod it, touch it, and see it yourself. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> and we'll be back with more in just a moment.